hands. And then Dykstra fights back. Now Nystra with some right hands. Quite a scrap. The Buffalo rookie Steve Dykstra and the editor veteran Bob Nystra. Look at them flail away. big proponent of plating but as they go that was a pretty good one Brad that was a darn good one you had two real heavyweights there Dykstra really took a good run at I got hit by Dykes Dykstra hit Nystrom with a big run Gillies went over hit Dykstra and then Nystrom comes back and says all right Steve let's talk about this well get penalties it's Buffalo leading the Islanders one to nothing pick they will mature and really be dominant when they're 23. On that play we had a penalty to Dennis Potvin there you see it. Potvin going off on the play hooking 909 is the time and now Buffalo with an improved power play in recent games and that's kind of surprising because they're without a big man. Sear and the Islander rookie Mark Hamwood and Sear pounds away with his right hand and now Hamway comes back with a right hand. Mark Hamway out of Michigan State in it with Paul Sear of the Sabres. 8-16 left in the first period. Buffalo leading this game one to nothing. Drop got into it with Billy Smith back of the net. Then Smith skated away and Vic Dennis Potva came to the aid of Battle and Billy right there. I'm not sure if that was, a, I think it was an accident because Smith went by behind the net and handled the puck. Then he come around the other side and Ruff was trying to forecheck and they just collided. Now watch Billy Smith here. Let's see what happens. Oh, Billy, he hits Lindy Ruff. But Lindy Ruff has got the momentum. They both go down. I think they're, Billy was just trying to protect himself. He really couldn't get out of the road. The uh, rough was coming like a runaway freight train. He was. The goaltenders with all that equipment on aren't too mobile out there. So somebody's coming 100 miles an hour. You're not too good at going left or right. Wendy Rupp one time in a big playoff game here in the days when, before they changed the rule, when Billy Smith used to uh, have that butt end hanging out. Now, Lever moving it in to Hughes. Big save, Smith. And then Lever tripped over Smith as he wants to get to the rebound. And the Buffalo player on the ice is injured. Here's a look, Clark Gillies dropping it to Bourne. Now watch Nystrom go to the net. Lindy Ruff's got a hold of him. All he can do is chip it up. Coche makes the save, but look how hard Ruff goes into the back of that net. And it looks like Nystrom might have got hit with Ruff's skate because they're looking at his, you know, his head or lost his wind or something. But an old fella, Bob Nystrom, one of the older fellas on the Islanders, but a really gutsy move and going to the net like that. It's very hard to teach young guys to do that. Now, quickly, you have to go to the net all the time. And sometimes you pay the price. Bob Nystrom and Billy Smith, two of the original Islanders, although Nystrom didn't start that first year with the Islanders. He did come up midway. Smith is the only player who was there from day one. I'm sure he's just going to go to the bench. He's talking to... Uh, the Buffalo bench, he's got a few kind words to say over there. But Brian Tachi will get a towel, wipe that off. I don't think he's going to miss a second out here, but he's a little upset. We're not sure what happened because we were watching Bossy, and Bossy was just dumping the puck in, but is uh, just cleaning himself up, and he'd be ready for the next faceoff. He had something to say to the Sabres at their bench. Now Al Arbor calling Trotje and LaFontaine over. I think Arbor and the editors are claiming that Orlando should get a penalty. Trotje again as he skates towards the dressing room. Skated slowly by the Buffalo bench and had some choice words for some of the Sabres. It looks like Ron Wicks has called a penalty. I'm not sure what the penalty is. He's called it. Uh, Trying to give Orlando a major penalty. I guess for intent to injure. And Brian Trotsky, two minutes. Ice picking is a major penalty against Orlando. Trotsky gets a minor penalty for Ruffin. So that's the penalty call, and there you see Orlando going into the penalty box. He's a native of Montreal, but played college hockey at Providence College. Shadowing Brian Trotsky. Brian Trotsky's got a mean streak, and after playing 
against him. Young Schoenfeld is very upset right now about that call. Schoenfeld was really getting it to the linesman Asseltine. So I'm suspecting that Asseltine reported that infraction to Wicks, the referee, and that Wicks originally didn't see it. And that's why Schoenfeld is so upset at that man, Ron Asseltine, the linesman. Now Larry Playfair, he's gone over to talk to Ron Asseltine. Those, one thing about the officials, when you go to talk to them, they definitely get their point across. Tough to get the last word in sometimes, do you? So a high-sticking major to Orlando and a holding minor to Troche here at 1937. Each team will play a man short, but Bob, there's a play where these new nets, I'm sure, save some injuries. Definitely. Watch Jill Hamel lose his balance here. Cloche playing it. Has to try and get over, but Hamel goes in. Now watch the net give away. Somebody could have been hurt. That looks like an accident that uh, similar to one that really hurt Mark Cowell, and that's why the change in the net. And we just saw Steve Dutton. Now here we go with Nystrom and McKenna. And Nystrom pounding away with his right hand. Now McKenna landed a solid one, but Nystrom battles right back. And he and Sean McKenna slug it out. Linesmen do their job and separate McKenna and Nystra. Here in Buffalo, the Auditors lead the Sabres 2-1.